Hello everyone, welcome to Toy and Talks. Thank for watching. Until I'll see you in my next video. Stay safe, stay blessed. I love you. All. Bye. Blogger used to be Baba Mubad's main blogger, primary blogger. In fact, I think she's the only authentic blogger of Baba Mubad. As you know, I'll just not be mentioning the name, but most of these people, most of you watching, will know the person I'm talking about. But you know, she came online. And um, she gave us a shocking news, you know, a shocking news. Please share the program. Oh, I forgot to share myself. Share the program because we want everybody to come and listen to the lawyer. The lawyer is here to speak with us. I want you to speak directly with the lawyer and let the lawyer explain the DNA results to you directly. So that you won't be hearing from only a joker or from my darling sister that did the job but at least you will hear the lawyer yourself now um because we want the truth and if you don't let the whole world know the truth we'll be selling wrong signals to people like i said i will not say my beautiful blogger lied i will not say my beautiful blogger did not do anything but you will hear it directly from the horse's mouth now um the blogger okay let me quickly um share it first before we go on bad blogger okay i'm sorry okay it's justice for bad blogger but what i'm saying is baba bad is you know they have teams you forgot team it's team mumi and team baba mubad if you want to be sincere with yourself but okay i will take the correction you said she's team um justice for mubad but please come and listen to the lawyer that is not um, what I want us to argue about, whose team it is. But we all know that, you know, she is a strong supporter of Baba Mubad and, you know, she's opposite of the other one. While we know those ones that are, you know, fighting for Mumi. Do you get me? So let's share it, please. Um, uh, Olo, Olo, we just, um, just watch. Now, darling people, three weeks or two weeks ago, the, lo the blogger, came online to, online to say that a DNA test was conducted and she did a good thing by giving us giving us the address of the hospital that had the uh, test conducted which she called um, initially I think she named one hospital and she changed it later and she gave us a name of that hospital, Lagoon. Ajoka is Mumi's blogger because she knows the two teams. However, one team is fighting for justice. Ajoka is Mumi blogger. I don't get you. Is Mumi okay? Is Mumi blogger because she's she knows the two. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, Ola Tunji Ola Bisi. Now let's go ahead. I don't. I won't read your comments. Um, Iola, you're there. So if there's any comments you want me to just just give me a shout out. Now, um, she gave us the name of the, the chambers. No, no. She gave the name of the chambers and she gave the name of the hospital, Gongong. So, it's the hospital Lagoon. It was on Lagoon Hospital in Lagos Island, um, in Lagos. So, she gave us the name of the hospital and one of our dedicated, concerned Nigeria, who wants the real, you know, who wants justice, for Mubad. Like if you know for some time now. I've not been speaking about Mubad. Except if there is any news. Like I've been waiting for on the 17th. Of what day are they saying they, say they are going to be. No not 17. On Wednesday that they are going to. Uh, corona will start. It was on Lagoon Hospital. Thank you. It was on Lagoon Hospital. She, she named the hospital. And one of our lovely. Um, Justice for Mubad. Concerned citizen called the hospital and decided to do her own due diligence. Of course, the blogger has come on to tell the whole world that the exercise was performed and the DNA conducted indicated that Mubad is not, um, Liam is not Mubad's son. So we all felt like, oh, uh, and you know, for people that have been doubting the paternity of this child, we're like, 
did we not tell you and the story is going viral about this dna test result but what she told us when she came online that day was that the test was conducted in the chambers in Wumi's lawyers chambers because they had to disguise and use a different name we all know that Wumi is like a wanted person by all nigerians because of the fact that they have you know labeled her as a black widow and somebody that knows so much about her husband's death now this particular blogger made us to understand that yes the test has been conducted people have been clamoring for the test anyway and like i said i'm not against the, the, the test i i just want everything to be done the normal way now so when we heard we're like okay so the test is done now for somebody that told us that the test was conducted in a chambers that mama mubad and um liam the baby and mummy three of them went for the test and um they disguised to the lawyer's place it was baba falano according to her that it was baba falano that facilitated the whole thing because he is already known he didn't want Wumi to come to the chambers and do the test the initial reaction from you know normal thinking person will be like any dna test to be conducted will have been conducted in a clinical setting which is the right place which is the hospital now the blogger told us that they had the test in the chambers in the lawyer's chambers number one thing that i brought out from the initial thing was that why will uh, father not say i don't want to get involved i just want you tell me the truth and with me confided like i said confiding in the lawyer is perfect it's, it's normal i won't fault it that Wumi confided in Falano that she wasn't too sure of the father of Liam. And Falano accepted and said, oh, because of your doubt, we need to do a pretest before the main DNA test that the whole world is asking for. So for you to come clean, I will send you to another lawyer so that it's the lawyer that will facilitate the whole the, the whole thing and that the lawyer the our blogger told us that they had the test performed in that chambers um office so when we heard that we said i said mm, it's a bit funny number one how did this blogger, uh, blogger get to know so much information? Of course, people sell information out, but who are those that can sell the information out? Could it have been um, Mama, Mama Mubad herself? Anyway, let's watch. But before we conclude that somebody is lying, she gave us the hospital's name, she gave us the chamber's name, and then one of our callers, called in went did her own search online and found the hospital the blogger talked about it was on lagoon hospital in lagos and she called the place to find out about their the process of their dna test because according to her she told them she lives abroad she wants to come and perform dna test on one of her children and they said oh of course we don't do DNA tests here. Not at all. This is not part of our services. And they told her all the services they do perform. Now, immediately we heard that. I said, ah, but they said they perform the DNA tests there. I didn't even know that some bloggers have taken their, they have taken pains to call the hospital and it was confirmed, you know, um, it was confirmed that, you know, there was no, they don't do DNA tests at all. They don't have that service. You know, it's all, every hospital have their services that they do. That they don't even offer such. I guess the blogger, people went to the blogger's uh, platform, just like some of you here, that you try to engage us. I appreciate when you engage, but please 
do it respectfully. So she went there and did it respectfully by saying, Hello, ma. I went, we, we called the Lagoon Hospital that you talked about. It was for Lagoon. And they said they don't have the offer of DNA test. So where did you get this DNA test that you said this person performed? And she blocked them, according to um, the lady that went there. Now, she now told our viewers, we that we are looking for justice, she told us that we should search and just put on Google what hospital in Lagos, um, in Victoria Island, perform DNA tests. That is a wide search. And of course, when you do a wide search, it will bring out series of names of hospitals. They would they will just give you the names of hospitals. It is when you call those hospitals that they will tell you if they do perform this or not. You know, unlike here, if you want to know what we do in each hospital here, the services, it can be, you know, accurate. But sometimes in Nigeria, some of these hospitals are not accurate. So this is part of what um, happened when you put a large search, a wide search, it will just bring out all the hospitals and exactly what happens. So if you, we all that we are saying we are really, really looking for justice for Mubad and we don't want to sell wrong information, we don't want to sell send wrong signals to people out there and make ourselves look stupid sometimes let's use our own heads and think ahead now so that's that we call the hospital they don't perform the dna test luckily enough the blogger decided to go further to give us enough ev evidence that she is doing her own job and she has done it well. That she was going to post the lawyer's details. The lawyer that had the DNA, that, you know, co uh, co coordinated the DNA and in the chambers that it was held. They had it. She had a show and put the name of the, the, um, the place for us, you know, put the name of the chambers, brought out the name of the chambers, and we did our due diligence. Just like she said, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> I love you, so don't look for fights today. You know, like she said, go ahead, do your own due diligence. I am open. Because if I have anything to hide, I won't give you the name of the lawyer. And we did exactly what she said we should do. Please, my people, I want you to listen to the lawyer. We spoke with the lawyer. And it was one of the concerned citizens. Just like the concerned citizens felt, oh, this auntie has done so well. Let's appreciate her by conducting a thorough investigation ourselves too. So she went to the lawyer and listen. Let's call the lawyer in. Emma Bino, if it's who is you, we are coming. Okay, I think it's this one. No, sorry. I'm so sorry. All right. Is that um Salau Akin? Hello? Oh, no. Kilo Shale. I'm trying to put it with, um, Kilo I want it to be, uh, audible for you, please. Hey, Joe. Emma Bino. You know this, my thing can disgrace me. Mudeti. Mudeti, she shares the leg. By the time I start today, they will call me a expert, Lomo. And look at this one now. It's, it's trying to disgrace me. I want the lawyer to be audible enough for you. So that, um, you know, sorry. Oh, you are based in Germany. Mm. Okay, it should work now. If you don't work now, this Bluetooth, if you don't work now, me and you will watch you go to I'll just call later. I'll just call um one of these Vaulens blogger to come and help me. Vaulens. Yeah. 
Okay, my name is Ola. I'm calling from England. Who am I speaking? Can I speak with any of the partners, okay. please? I am a partner. Okay, who am I speaking with? What's your name, please? Who am I speaking with? My name is Ola. I've told you. Yeah, my name is Ola. Ola Adedeji. Yeah. I am calling from England. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I just want to know your name. I've yeah, just told well, Your name is what? Okay. Ekaro, sir. Ekaro. Yes, sir. Um Yes, sir. You know me the firstly, a gen coco song got him on notice because Motin one number ni most type or coin lori google or boru coin jade or bear address jade but could see telephone number nibe so boy i might edit information in kelly fit telephone number saying if it's a motuary number and saying you already linked in the motion lori number so yeah so it's a big i believe it's a big chamber so you can win your lane near says in your latterly pain easily so enjoy about our editing and careful number can when you're rich in your cb number one number two i'm a concerned nigerian citizen and let's be your meta i want in that look chamber not in a good way so some of them are we and what blog and yeah um it by me in koto ju won o to ni won ma nso um just to let you know this is um the the interviewer spoke in your baba i was still and to ba so in bonile anoloma we can still translate for you guys who cannot understand but you know she called the uh, the chambers the name of the chambers is salawu akibolu chambers we, you can you if you are the bloggers follower you can ask her is that the uh, the chambers she mentioned so that's the name of the the chambers she mentioned salau akingbolu chambers and that is the chambers that this woman is speaking to one of the partners there oh so any man the opportunity latterly and that is why I am calling you so that any make necessary corrections or a teba ma teba ma for fin beni no one that they should stop maligning your name, the name of your company. If you talk about your pen, cut you one sonny pay or Tony. She got one sonny yeah yeah. So any mama, but if you go on Facebook, your name, your company name has been mentioned. I think since last week. Yeah. It has to do with one young man that died recently in Nigeria. Hello? Before I just tell you, are you booking? I am not booking. Booking yellow sorrow on this thing. So which means you know thing, but she's still on the show this morning talking about you. We pay one wash DNA, Lord I don't know how So the interviewer asked this particular chambers that you know do they know about this particular um case that is ongoing about this young talented nigerian that we lost and you know and he said yes and immediately he said are you booky so um the in the interviewer said that is the booky that is saying we should find out about your chambers she gave us the chambers name Far that is true. It, mm -hmm. it, it, mm -hmm. So you have to issue statements out. Mm -hmm. you can, where do you want to come from now? Mm -hmm. I mean, first of all, I don't think that the woman has anything to do with it. I'm a woman like that, which I'm not with mouth. Okay. So if you read my book time on the on the group or whatever, mm. you know, mm. I will see that um we really start here today. Mm. And uh, for me, mm. that is is paramount to me. Mm. Mm -hmm. And again, why swallowing and consuming the justice of a thing, mm. I will also ensure that I think Mm -hmm. I have not had it up to the extent of where the mention my chamber. The only thing I had it of is that she's going to mention the name tomorrow. 
Ah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Sorry for cutting you short. Oh, to mention Oru Konyila last week. Oh, that to work. Basically, she now put another name. Kafaya at something of of your chamber. Oh, big picture any yesita. On that person should come and debunk it. We pay one wash DNA. Lord, don't want. If they took the DNA from your chambers and they take it to Lagoon Hospital, what is the picture, Sita? Picture of Bionic, come on, Bionic, can fire at only chamber in the tree, she share. You see the problem they have. I, why I guess not, uh, I agree with you, but why are you cheating out about me? When I be out of here, I'm just here to me, I do She has been mentioned my name. Ah. Oh. And the last time I checked, I am a medical doctor. Hmm. Exactly. So, for me, I, what I work for all my life, I don't do any other thing. I do work clearly. So as a result of this, when somebody is saying you do the PME, blah, 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 is there any, is there any professional hospital that will come and do the PME? Oh, oh, yeah, me let me know. Um, sorry for everybody that's just coming in. This is, this is um, the interview that one of our concerned citizens do, did our own due diligence by calling the lawyer, the chambers that the blogger talked about this morning. And then the lawyer said, am I a doctor? Which credible hospital will do DNA outside? Now, go on. February 20th of February is on Sunday. On Sunday. And at that Sunday, I had a medical appointment at, uh, you know, at the Royal University. I was already in the city at that time. So, all those things that I mentioned, it doesn't look clear. Uh, it says my chamber was upstairs. The chamber hospital was not, I'm not in upstairs. So, Exactly, but you know, you know, but some people are so gullible, you know, that they believe all these lies going on online. But when and then they will say, okay, and time when you know, you pay one, why it's one. I'm not even saying debunk. I'm saying officially issued a statement that this person should stop mentioning your name, or else you will take legal action because what you share that people want jail, I want to go in your. And when you did this, I'll take on one party for you, but the job they will stop doing. I'm not saying this, it's top of top of my sorrow. Can you want base or on one or two? So they should just be, you know, stop making false accusations about people, you know, mentioning people's names. So you want some cut your jewelry, I want you want your carry or do to see or more. You like to enjoy I just feel enough is enough. Nobody is paying me to do this. Enough is enough. I want your arm, I want to finish it by you. Yeah, I I can't appreciate your concern, madam. You see, um, me I didn't know actually that um, I've not been in Lagos for about three weeks, and uh, for the church, I just Lagos on uh, twenty three, twenty two, on nineteen. I left Lagos on nineteenth of February, so uh, I'm not aware of this uh, area. Where I mentioned my name again. I'm not somebody who, you know, do my time on social media. Because when I look at it about who that book is, uh, this year, wherever it is, I discover that some of those jobs let people out. Exactly. And, uh, you know, they don't want to fit on the information. Oh, come out, come and do this. Eh? Hey. Under the law. The only thing in the real world, man. The only body in the real world that can ask for a DNA. He's the father of the child. Ah, also, Leo. Over a child. The father of the bad has no such power. He has become, in fact, has become a shame of the man because he all the beauty for the money, 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 money. The same thing I think, maybe, I don't know what the mother has said, I don't know. But I, I even called. I even called the hospital last week, sir. 
I called the hospital and the operator confirmed to me they don't do DNA in their hospital. It was on Lagoon Hospital. She said they don't do DNA there at all. And Buki has about 2,000 people sitting on a platform listening to lies. Mm -hmm. Ah, I'm just, uh, it's just paining me because this child that they are bullying, almost 24 years old, I can't be me, Julon, 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 very young girl. How will it be chambers? Me want my wife she DNA. Does that even make sense? Can you get me? Exactly. Okay, okay, so another thing, there's one thing I want to say to you, sir. This is our conversation. I'm going to give it to a platform that is very liberal on this one that one a player because I am out to call my few or tito or tito la mafi push you on one back. I don't know more bad, I don't want to know their family, I don't want to know me, but I am Lori or tito. So what I should find is to me by Jebby, to me is so a bit of Jebby, but he run a little bit of fair. So I am going to give this recording to a platform that will play it, sir. Yeah, if I need any, any work, what you have to say, you have to say one of the best in the world, and I don't think the video, I don't think the video. I call them, they say they don't. Ah, it's just too much. It's too much. Ah. go to Nigeria. Exactly. Like I said, just put um telephone contact on your um on your biography on Google so that I when you're contact in show you because for see number and be lati key moshe she extensive search. All right, thank you, sir. God bless you, sir. All right, sir. Bye, sir. Thank you so much. All that you've heard for some of you that are just coming in. This is um Salau Akibolu Chambers. One of the partners um, spoke with a concerned citizen. Number one, just to uh, to apologize to you guys, 
person that did this call. She did it on a neutral ground. She is not a professional blogger. She is not a journalist. If not, maybe, you know, she would have done it more professionally. But she did us great job because we need to kill lies with the truth. The partner said he had heard so much about this particular blogger and about the first hospital she mentioned and then the second one she mentioned. Ola, ola, no, that, you know, some people are saying that they can't hear, you know, and all that. I'm sorry. Um, please, this, our lovely mommy that did this, please, can you call in now? And I want you to explain further to people so that they will understand more. Because what you did is recommendable, is applaudable, and we appreciate you. I love you. Thank you so much. People are saying it's a planned work, it's a planned call. You could hear when the man said, are you booky? So when you are saying it's a planned work, it makes it look as if, you know, we don't appreciate what we are doing. If somebody has come online to the whole world to tell you that they have performed DNA tests somewhere in a chambers, when this woman asks the man, the man said, am I a doctor? Is it possible to have DNA tests? To, even we that we are laymen, we know that it's impossible. Let me call her, please, so that she can explain further to you on how, you know, she went about it. Hello, ma. Hello, I'm Chad, okay. Thank you so much, so much, ma. Yes, good evening. Good evening. Uh, yes, ma. Can you tell us um, about how, what you did and okay. how you, you, so, are, you um, are helping I our life? I don't have life. much to say. Okay. And um, like, like we said, I choose to pitch my friends with your platform because I know that you are very reasonable and you know, Libra when it comes to issue, you know, and um, what I did, you don't, you didn't even know anything about it. At all. It was until after I, have, you know, done speaking with the lawyer that I sent it to. Yes, ma'am. I did it for myself as a mother, hmm. you know, that I've got children older than Mubad, hmm. older than Mumi, and I've seen what's going on on social media for the past six months. The poor boy is still lying in the mud. And we are all going chasing clouds, going, you know, I want control necessary. That is what we are doing. Mm. It's so unfortunate the family Mubat came from. And like I said, anybody can believe whatever they like. I am based in England. I've never seen Mumi before. I've never seen Mubad, nor the mom, nor the father. So, whatever we are doing in Kotonika, I believe in God. And I believe that God sees us. Mm. Okay, that is that. This thing has been going on, you know, for the past six months. At some point, the guy was buried and he was exhumed and some people came around, they have arranged a befitting barrier. All these things was, was put to a stop all of a sudden. And then we have this DNA that, DNA this, DNA that. As everybody has been saying, there's nothing bad in doing DNA or conducting DNA. But it has to be done in a proper way. Where does this DNA issue, where does it stem from? Who is asking for DNA? And I still stand on it. The way this DNA was asked for was totally, totally wrong. I cannot be in my home and some outsider that I, I didn't know ever in my life come to me and ask me to do DNA for my child or my grandchild. It can never happen. And we have heard from Baba Mubad that he said initially, 
he did not think about DNA because he knows that Liam is his grandson. But because the public are clamoring for it, who are this public? What right have they have or do they have to clamor for DNA? So that is my point and that is where I am saying it. I did not allow my emotion to cloud my integrity. I will never do that. Onika lukulo mo bo unse to ati bo unse ye ni akware. So like I said again, I am not a blogger. I choose your platform because I love what you do. And so that is it. So, you know, we've said on this platform that we will not talk about mobile again because it has become messy and messier and all that. But again, when some new things come out, you know, you can't just brush it, you know, aside. So the light is like this hospital. Like I said, I've never been to Nigeria for years. So I don't even know this hospital. Because I see someone said, oh, it's a planned work. They know the hospital and all that. So when this blogger was talking about, I, I was, I, I happened to be at home. And then the blogger was talking about the hospital. And she mentioned the hospital. There and then, I, I go on my uh, laptop and I googled the hospital. Uh. The name came up and I saw the telephone number for the hospital. I tried the number about three times before the operator picked up. She was a young lady. I'm not going to mention her name. And I asked her, um, do you have this service in your hospital because I want to, you know, do DNA for my child? And then she said, no, they don't do DNA in there. I said, are you sure? She said, yes. I said, especially in your Ikeja branch. She said, no, they don't do DNA. That even if they are, you know, um, patients or whoever require such service, they refer them to another hospital or laboratory. So in my search, the hospital, they've got one wellness, I think three hospitals and two clinics. That is the facilities they have. If you go on Google, you will see all the services they render. Mm. So I said, thank you. And, you know, and I think, you know, I told you about that. Yes, you did. So, but when you are doing that show, someone said, oh, but why didn't she, why didn't she, you know, record the mm. call? I said, oh, okay. I never thought it's like I should record that person. You know, when I was speaking to the, to the hospital operator. Hello, are you hearing me? Yes, ma. We are hearing you, ma. Clear. So, so I, when someone said that, I said, okay. So I just leave it like that. Then today again, no, 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 not today. I think two days ago, she mentioned the name of the chamber. Hmm. I searched the whole, um, Google, you know, Nigeria with the, uh, how can a whole, you know, chamber don't have, um, contact number. So there was no contact. I just leave it like that. So, oh, these people, they don't have contact numbers. I just left it. So today again, she posted, um, she posted a lady's picture. I think she's a lawyer in the chamber mm -hmm. and then put the name and she was talking about <laughs> These people, I, they should have, you know, some form of contact. So when I did another search in Google, I couldn't get, so I went on, because I'm on LinkedIn. LinkedIn, as you know, is a professional platform. Yeah. So I went on LinkedIn. I was able to see, you know, their, their profile there. And I did a, a, a search on that, and I was able to find a number. So I called the number. The, the man was very reluctant, if you, if you, if you listen to that recording. Definitely. He was very reluctant at the beginning. And he said, who is calling? I mentioned my name. I said, who am I speaking with? Who am I speaking with? Before he, he mentioned his name. And you, you've, you've heard the conversation. Yeah. So for him to know that I was recording him. So I said to him, I said, sir, I am recording you because I am going to give this. I don't have that opportunity, you know, to come out and play the, the record because I'm not a blogger. I'm going to give this to a platform that I know is very liberal and that I am on. So, because someone is saying, oh, why are you giving it to a platform? Because back on the I say, Mamo, I can't just take the recording and keep it. Mm -hmm. Why, what I'm concerned about is, if you want to give us information, let it be true. Mm -hmm. Do your search. Do your due diligence. My story, we pay off a clock where you open up on the platform here for Paro. He said, I work on the Paro more. Be still. You know, let us establish the facts. Come on, come on. I've said 
said it yesterday, and I'm going to say it again. And I'm sorry, I'm going to say this one in Yoruba. Starting never fails. God is not a, 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 a respecter of anybody. I don't know this family. In public domain, but this girl is just too young. That's my go through, but don't go through. And I'm saying, it's about long one in your poor coin. She will never escape it. She will never escape it. But this young child, this Liam, and see, I saw another post where Mobad was, you know, happily telling uh, his friend is the name, the meaning of Liam. I will hmm. send it to you. Hmm. There is a picture of Mobad. Total to Liam, your wife. She I get my phone. Nisha, oh my yeah, no she go boy yeah. Why? Why are people? If you want to, to pass a gas or a, am I bad or yeah? She no yeah can't swim or she. Don't, don't, don't put one and two and get twenty two. Don't lie. Now this blogger said, "Mommy should come and she has the receipt. Ah, Banakola and and antenna is going around with mommy, and she was so she so sure." Very affirmative, very, 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 okay, we will turn what they do that. She has the results. Okay, fine. Now again, you are talking of confidentiality. No, you've already breached confidentiality. Totally, 100%. Now today again, you're still saying you are going to cut Liam's ear. Why do you want to cut his ear again when you already have results? Sacrifice the DNA, me, me. Or are you, are you negating the one that they did before? Hmm. If you know that the DNA has been done, that you have the result according to you, why do you want to cut Liam's hair again today to do another DNA, DNA, DNA result? Why? Hey, there was Dr. Emerson. Tell me, Jimo, Tony Kalukuma, Joto Makwey, and see why in it, whatever you are. Nino Sare. Ota Fasoke, Jito Bori. Tony Amara, you know, Bobby, you know, 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 this chamber, uh, how many years do you want to lose this school? If any of our lost this school, I'm more your education. Hmm. If you go to school, if you go to university, if you go to college, you will know that it is, it is not a joke to be a barrister. It is not, just, not a joke to be a lawyer. So why would you come online without doing your due diligence and be, you know, destroying people's image? By all because you want to. Someone is saying here, the hospital they can plan. It was on Lagoon, ten years ago, that is a big hospital, one man plan, but you know me. Is that woman is woman so powerful like that? Is woman so powerful like that? You know, they, eh, they formed a lot of last even six months ago. Eh, we in Koko, me, so, eh, no, me, my Jila, I wrong, lost on Lomu, Sunday, one, this Saturday, one, this Sunday, or you know, you know, no more tebasi, and that boy is still lying there. In the mud. And said, okay, I'll talk to you later. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. I think she became emotional the way she, you know, she she ended the call. Um, I want us to know, like I said, on this platform, I'm not for any team. And that is why you always see me when there's anything, I'll come out to say it. Like she said, what we don't want is, you know, giving wrong information that will disrupt all the evidences they need in court. For some of your comments, I've seen it. Some of you are so adamant that the result is out. How to where? Even used on number six, can a DNA test be conducted outside clinical setting in the chambers 
And remember, this is a controversial one. How possible is that? The number to call, I'll give us the number to call. Some of you know our number and that's why you're calling. Hello. Hello, ma. Auntie, uh, sister, okay. 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 Okay, ma, that's correct. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma. Yes, she corrected us on that part. Okay, you can always have it done outside clinical setting. So it's not impossible that Molly Bilosibe, according to what she saw you, but the lawyer the lawyer has told us that. It was not performed in his chambers. So, that's, that's, that's. All I'm begging every one of us, if we truly, if we truly want justice for this young guy, some of us are mothers. Tia Biomo, to their age mates, Mubad. Some of us are fathers that we have Grown ups like Mubad. I will endeavor, I will, I will beg you to please, please endeavor to give us the real truth. If somebody has not come in to tell us this, I don't think anybody will come, will start looking for the lawyer. And she gave us the lawyer's um, number. Now, let me give you our own number. You can call in. I've told you. All parties are welcome. This is not a blog for anybody. And for somebody who was writing there that that is Tolani that was talking. That was not Tolani. You understand? That was not Tolani. That is another person totally. You know, if it is Tolani, I will tell you. Tolani doesn't hide herself. She will tell you, this is me. She's too bold, you know. So she's not somebody that can... Sister Tolani is not somebody that can hide. But this person is a professional. She's not... She's not a blogger. She's not into what we do. You know, we are bloggers. She's not a blogger. The number to call is plus four four seven.